Oh, good afternoon, everybody. Um, my name is Janet Chapman. From um, I'm a volunteer at Tanzania Development Trust, which is a volunteer-run organisation that has been supporting grassroots projects in rural Tanzania for over 40 years. Um, so the projects that I, I go to visit are in villages that generally are not on the map, which is how I came to mapping relatively recently. So on the um, picture here, there is um, our biggest project, which is for girls refusing female genital mutilation um, in Magumu near Serengeti. And um, these are some of the girls um, that have been assisting with this mapping, community mapping project. So as I said, our, our projects are in very um, poorly mapped villages. Um, maps don't exist even with the local officials um, and it's very difficult to even find your way around. So as people know, um, um, urban Tanzania, particularly Dar es Salaam, is very well mapped, particularly um, through our colleagues uh, Romani Huria that people have heard a lot about this weekend, um, week even. <laughs> But the villages where I go to are generally completely blank. So this was um, a map of a village of 8,000 people that I've visited very regularly. Um, so we've been trying to get locals involved in mapping their own communities. If laptops exist on, op on OpenStreetMap directly, um, but if not, um, on using mobile phones. Um, there was a missing maps project in this area um, in November last year. So thanks to people there, um, actually it put on all the roads and uh, residential areas of this area of Tanzania, but none of the village names. So although this village of Zeze um, was now had the roads mapped, it didn't, it didn't have a name, so you still couldn't find it. So um, this is um, Roby, who's an FGM survivor herself. One, one of the things that she does is goes out into the surrounding villages around Magumu um, and to, to try and advocate um, against FGM and to raise awareness of the safe house. These villages are not on the map. So what, what we've done as a, as a project is we've, we um, first of all try to import, manually import all of the um, uh, data from every school um, in Tanzania, um, by use, mostly by using UN volunteers. Um, so we put on um, coordinates and people manually pasted them into OpenStreetMap and so, saw if they could see a school and traced around it. So we've also now moved on to Maps.me. Um, so volunteers on the ground um, where they have access to smartphones are using Maps.me um, to actually add village names, um, add churches, etc. Um, so th this is um, a map now of Zeze where locals have added things like churches and so on. Now we work, maps.me, although I think it's brilliant and people that we work with really, really like it, there are some issues in that um, it's, not, it's not really tailored for rural, rural Africa. So we're working with maps.me to develop a, a better, a more customized um, app, initially in English, but hopefully in Swahili as well. So we've incentivized this by um, organizing competitions. So this is, uh, shows um, the edits that have been made within Tanzania on maps.me. Um, so we have regular competitions um, and people can win a very small amount of money, i.e. about $30 um, if, they come, if they make the most um, points. Um, we also set up a Facebook group, so for example, um, these um, villages are still not named, so, or they weren't, so posted on questions and people um, respond, and now they're named. There's some issues with this because uh, on maps.me you're using slightly old data so that several people might add the same point. We've set up WhatsApp groups so that we're communicating um, directly and trying to pr promote um, mapping. 
Um, we've set up a task on the, on the tasking manager. This is the, the area around Magumu, and it's now about 73% um, mapped, and we need desperately to get it finished before the cutting season. Um, cutting happens as a seasonal thing in December, so um, we really need to get that finished before then so that Roby can go out and knows where all the villages are and can reach them. So any help with that, particularly around validation, would be amazing. We had a mapping party um, in uh, May, and these are some people, the girls at the um, safe house and Roby herself mapping. I haven't got time for the video, but some of the, having a, um, the beginnings of a map has made a huge impact. Already it's allowed Roby to find villages that she wasn't aware of before, and also the way of getting there. The road system is, is very, very poor, um, particularly in the rainy season, uh, so it allows her to work out how to get there and also how much fuel she, wants, she needs, which is, again, an issue for something running on a shoestring. But most importantly, long-term, having maps will hopefully allow girls to actually reach the safe house on their own. Last cutting season, um, we had over 200 girls. Some of them ran through the night barefoot. This is run on absolutely zero money. I'm a volunteer and I've got one other person helping me who's also a volunteer. So any help that people can give will be absolutely amazing. One of the limiting factors is having access to phones um, in rural Tanzania. So if anyone's got any even old smartphones, Android, that they, that they don't want, we could make very, very good use of them. We need um, validators. Um, if anyone's got any ideas about funding, the competitions we've had so far has basically all come out of my pocket, so it would be great if there's even tiny amounts of funding for that. What we really want to do is to build up a network of um, local mapping advocates in the rural villages so that they can um, train other people. Um, uh, but again, we need a small amount of money to get that off the ground. But mostly, I mean, I'm, as I said, I'm totally new to mapping, um, purely because I can see the absolute need for it in places like rural Tanzania. So I would really, really appreciate technical advice about how to be doing it better. Um, so there is a workshop on Sunday at 11.45 in D1, and I would really, really welcome anyone's input to help me do this better. Thank you. Hi, Janet. How the girls will know where to go if they don't have a smartphone, if they don't have the map uh, to the safe houses? How do they know how, how to get there and be safe? Thank you. That's a great question. What, what we want to do um, is eventually is when we have better maps is actually print maps out so that will be in the village offices. There will be a map. Um, that says the safe place in that area, but also um, where, the, where the safe house in Magumu is as well. So, yes, yeah, so ha girls having access to, to smartphones is an extremely long way off. So, yes, we were, we're looking at producing paper maps, but we, first we need to generate the map of the area before we're in a position to do that. But thank you. <laughs> 